Plaintiff Latoya Stewart is suing her neighbor and former friend for destroying her computer. She's suing for $350. Defendant Scott Card says he's a computer expert and the plaintiff simply wants something for nothing. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Thank you. Good morning. Case number 38 on the docket, Stewart versus Card. Thanks, Najee. You're welcome, Judge. We have the uh, plaintiff here, Ms. Stewart, and you are suing the defendant, Mr. Card, in the amount of $350 for property damage and breach of contract. What's that about? Good morning, Your Honor. Yes. This man right here, I thought we were friends, but I see we're not. Um, I asked Scott to um, upgrade my operating system, as he's done before in the past. Yeah. He agreed. Um, he uh, quoted me a quite price of $100. My son dropped off the computer with a deposit of $20. Um, the next day, he says he needs to buy a disk drive. He comes to the house. I give him the remaining balance of $80. Yep. And he buys the um, disk drive. He sends me proof that he bought it from Amazon. Good. No problem. When it de was delivered, he sent me the text saying it was delivered. No problem. He had my computer for almost a month. I lost all my music, pictures, photos, everything. This is just a you shell it right now. You mean it doesn't work now? Nothing. It when, he came, when he brought it, how did you get it back? He brought it back to you? No, I contacted him after um, almost a month. Yeah. I'm like, hey, can I get my computer back? Yeah. Before all of that, he, every time I spoke to him, it was more money he needed. First, it was for the disk drive. Okay. Then he needed to buy a hard drive. Okay. Then he needed DVDs. Okay, so he needed stuff to go to that. He's saying, and, and how much in total did you pay? $145. $145. Yes. So at some point, you two get together. You went over to his place. He we went, went outside in front of his house. In front of his house. Mm -hmm. And you handed the computer back and you gave On him February 18th, yes. the rest of the $145? No, or? he asked for an additional $20. I said I didn't have it, so I gave him 15 Okay. But at this time, I guess it was just because it took so long and it was more work. Yeah. But the original price was $100. Okay, but now it was all the way up to 145 Yes. And he handed you back the computer. 30 minutes after he hands me my computer, I walk away. Me and my son, we go and plug it in. Nothing. And I can show you also, it's a black show screen. Me what happens. Nothing. Turn it on. Here we go. Nothing still. Nothing yet. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually, it's going to be a line with dots. There it is. He said, I had to press F2 to go further. Yeah. You hear the sound? You press F2, like he said. Now it's nothing. Okay. Now, right. what do you have to say about this? Your Honor, I've been doing this job for 13 years plus. Yes. Okay. I've known the, defen uh, the, excuse me, the plaintiff for about four years now. Yeah. Okay. And I've, uh, I've, I've fixed a number of computers for her in the past. I've had, never had a problem. Okay. Um, she's a big girl with big problems. I don't want to tell you. I mean, Your Honor. I've been through 12 hours trying to fix that computer. I, I upgraded the RAM from 2 gigs to 4 gigs. I upgraded the hard drive from 250 to 1 terabyte. I, I, I upgraded it from Linux. From, she wanted a new operating system. I said, no problem. But from Linux to Windows 10 Pro, which is but over... But there's nothing here. Okay. Which is over $660 worth. I only charge her $140. Okay. How old is that computer? 7 to 11 years old. So my question to you is, knowing, because you are an expert in this stuff, yes, sir. at some point, and particularly since, as you said, she was a friend, yes. at some point, wouldn't you say, rather than taking more money from her, because she's suing you for $350, which, is which apparently yeah. is the cost of a... Uh, a new computer, a, yes. A, a new uh, laptop. Seven okay. to 11 years old. Go ahead. Okay. Wouldn't it make more sense to say, rather than putting any more money into this, because... You knew it wasn't working. Yes, sir. Okay. I tried to, and she, it, she insisted on me fixing it. Okay, but when did you, you do that? You're lying. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> At one point, wouldn't you just say, I'm not taking any more of your money? I told her already she needed to buy a new computer. She insisted on me fixing it. He said he was going to buy me a new computer. Why did you keep giving him... Well, okay, so you're saying he yes. promised to buy you a computer. Yes, and I have the text messages I right here. I to help her buy a new computer. No, he said, let me know if there's any problems. If so, I'm going to buy you a new computer. Just took that out of context, Your Honor. No, those are his exact words, Your Honor. Okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see here. Let me know if you have any problems. If so... I'm going to buy you a new computer. So I, I texted him back. I said, listen, it's nothing. It's a black screen and there's a dash blinking nothing. He says, I'm going to have to buy you a new computer. Is HP OK? And he also asked me, do I see the Windows 10 logo? I have that evidence here also. Okay. 
Now, so Windows 10 was put on there, as you say. But it's not here. It's but not, you see, the, the operating get... system was on there at some point. So he's from saying, Linux that's to what Windows he's 10 saying. Pro. All right. It's nothing here. The only question I have to deal with is whether you promised to get her to buy her a new computer. It is possible that since he was working with you, he was saying that you're going to need a new computer. I'm going to go have to get you a new computer. Sales and then he and would tell you how much it would cost. No, no. Well, it's possible he was meaning that. That's not what I, I've seen I him mean, after that also. Was. No, in the street. He was getting in the cab. No. Okay, here's the, the only problem. If you said you were going to buy her a new computer, that's what this says. Let me see that one without yes. any comment. Just let me see it. Because that's the only question I can go with. I believe you know computers. I believe you worked hard to fix it. I believe you put in a lot of hours. And you say, I'm just gotta have to buy you a new computer. Is HP okay? I do wonder for a moment, as you probably would too, why would someone just offer to buy you a new computer? And that's what was my thought at first. Because well, he know he broke it, that's why. He, he, know, it he it. know it wasn't right. Okay, you initially made a decision that you wanted him to try to fix your computer. Upgrade it. Upgrade it. Mm -hmm. Upgrade your computer. And so you were willing to pay him $100 to do that. Yes. You had a choice, because you probably went in because you thought you'd get a bit better deal. It was cheaper than buying a new one. You made that decision. I'm going to bring everybody back to ground zero. You originally paid him $100. I'm going to find in your favor for the extra $45, which he should pay you back. So I'm finding for the plaintiff in the amount of $45. Thank you, Judge. Hey, YouTube, check out my new show, Judge Jerry. Now, for sneak preview and behind-the-scenes footage, subscribe to my channel now.